The following is from Fall 2011 Math 227 Test 3 and I will be working on number 6. Uh, in this video, I will do number 6, A, B, and C. Suppose that the weight of the cereal in boxes of loopy, of loopy fruits uh, breakfast cereal is normally distributed. A custom, consumer advocate group randomly sampled 8 boxes of loopy fruits and weigh the gr contents in grams as the following. Now, part A, find the mean of the sample, or in other words, what is the sample mean? X bar equals to the sum of X over N equals to, I will find the sum, okay? It's like 535 plus 540 plus 565 plus 575 plus 535 plus 558 plus 564 plus 550 eight data right the sum is 4422 grams over 8 divided by 8 that will be uh, 552.75 that's the sample mean Part B, find the standard deviation of the sample. The standard deviation of the sample, that's uh, S squared, equals to N times sigma X squared minus the quantity of sigma X being squared over N times N minus 1. S equals to 8 times something minus uh, 4422 over 8 times 7. Okay, now let's find out what is the sum of the squares. 535 squared plus 540 squared plus 565 squared plus 575 squared plus 535 squared plus 558 squared plus 564 squared plus 550 squared. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that will be Two, four, four, five, eight, six, zero. Okay, so S squared, the sample variance will be that times eight minus oops, there's a square there. Minus four four two two squared, whatever that is, divided by uh, fifty six. I get that uh, the sample variance will be uh, two hundred. 28.5. Therefore, the sample standard deviation will be the square of that 15.11622. Okay, that's what I get here. I wonder if you can see that. Now, part C construct 90% confidence interval for the mean. Now, Notice that we do not have the standard deviation for the uh, sample, so we will use uh, t distribution, right? Okay. Now the confidence level is ninety percent, and the degree of freedom is seven, right? So if I need a ninety percent confidence interval, if I draw this ninety percent here. 90% here means the area of the tail will be 10%, uh, right? The area of two tail will be 10%. Now let's see what is the T critical there. Degree of freedom 7. And the area in two tails is 10%. So 1.895. 1.895. That's 1.895. Okay, so the margin of error will be uh, 1.895 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of 8. Okay, now I will choose the number that I already have earlier. Multiply that by 1.895 divided by square root of 8. The margin of error is 10.12762. Put it there. 
So the 90% confidence interval for mu is given by uh, the mean is the sample mean is 552.75 minus the margin of error is less than the mu less than the sample mean plus the margin of error okay now then from there I will use calculator uh, 552.75 minus that answer I get 542.62238 less than mu less than 552.75 plus 10.12762 I get 562.8 Seven seven six two. Of course, uh, in the real life, then you will do some rounding, reasonable rounding. For now, we don't do rounding. Okay. Now this is from fall two thousand eleven. Method twenty seven test three number six A B and uh, C.